breed new crops or breed new livestock and faster. Um, so for example, we're partnering with a British company right now to work on breeding new pigs that are resistant to a particular disease. And so by making just this one change in their initial proof of concept, they've got these cute, healthy, happy little piglets that seem to be quite normal um, and they're completely resistant to this disease. On the research side, there are thousands of labs using this technology already. In terms of food and healthcare, it'll still be several years till products launch. On the healthcare side in particular, it's such a heavily regulated industry. We've seen some of the first trials actually kick off in human patients in China last year, and several more will be kicking off in the US and Europe this year and next year. So that's still just the beginning of clinical trials, maybe five, seven, 10 years until there could be drugs potentially eligible for approval. On the food side, things could move a little bit faster. Um, our former collaborators, DuPont Pioneer, have already developed a new corn uh, that they said five years ago they would, uh, sorry, a year ago they would commercialize within the next five years. So hopefully we'll see that pretty soon. A lot of it's gonna depend on how quickly or slowly uh, these different groups are able to show clinical efficacy and, and prove out safety. So five, seven, 10 years until maybe there are approved drugs that a doctor could prescribe. Uh, but obviously a number of clinical trials between now and then um, where uh, very sick patients will have early access to these medicines um, through the clinical trial process. I think we're seeing it start to change already with this concept of precision or personalized medicine. Kind of this understanding that the genetics of a disease and your genetics versus my genetics should really govern what types of medicines are used. You know, I think we used to have a very generic understanding of, say, breast cancer versus pancreatic cancer, and they'd be treated in two different ways. But now the field's really starting to understand that maybe you have breast cancer that's caused by the same mutation that's causing my pancreatic cancer, and so we should receive the same medicines, whereas someone else has breast cancer for a different reason and should receive a different medicine. And so really making sure that the medicine matches the patient's genetics, I think we're seeing just the tip of the iceberg of that right now, and certainly gene editing and gene therapy is going to unleash a whole new wave of medicines that are very targeted to the precise genetic problems that are causing diseases in the first place. So we wrestle a lot internally with the various ethical questions um, and even the fundamental questions of who gets to decide, who in our society gets to choose which genomes are acceptable to edit when and why, um, and what role different cultures and, and regulatory bodies have in that discussion. And so we try to participate in some of the larger national or international discussions. Um, but I think it's tough. We really think that everyone has the opportunity to have a voice, but to really participate in that debate, there's a lot of biology you need to understand. You need to know that our bodies are made of cells that have DNA inside of them. So there's a lot of education that has to go hand in hand with this. As an organization, we've drawn a very hard line and said we will not be editing human embryos. We just think ethically that's not an appropriate line to cross, uh, though we recognize other organizations might come to different conclusions. Certainly on the food side, as we look at um, different cultures around the world, um, some are very open to and excited about new technologies when it comes to food development, and some are very resistant. And so we also think that part of what's important is transparency. Consumers should be able to understand how their food was made so they make choices, informed choices about which products to buy and why.